we're going to award uh, two seniors, one male and one female, uh, from West Monona with $2,500, but where $500 is going to go into a retirement account. Um, and then the rest of the, the remaining $2,000 can either be used on retirement, investment, uh, college, trade school, continuing education, entrepreneurship, starting a business, or taking that trip you always wanted. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for the impact that he's going to have and continue to have. And just like that, you guys, I've had this in my head. The moment he passed, I was like, I'm going to finish this and we're going to get this done. And like to have you guys help me capture this moment is like, can't even put in words. Welcome back to new to medical device sales. You know, I was going to say a day in the life of a medical device sales manager, but today has nothing to do with that. Um, we are back home in Omaha, Nebraska, so I'm around an hour from here in a small town, about 2,000 people. And I'm coming back for a very special moment, um, not only to spend time with my family, see my family. Uh, last Thursday, so May 4th, was the one-year anniversary of my best friend, Brandon, um, who passed away to brain cancer. And so... I decided to make a scholarship because me and him had always talked about doing a scholarship together um, and, and just wanting more from the community that we came from. And so we're here because on Tuesday, May 9th, we're going to do the Think Bigger scholarship. And so I'm going to be actually giving a speech to the high school and also be presenting uh, with his mother um, the scholarship, the Think Bigger scholarship to our first two people ever. Um, memory of Brandon and just want people to think differently and, and go after their dreams and go after their goals and it's just a real special moment for me um, to, to see his legacy live on and so get a do it together get to watch him achieve his goal and see his legacy continue to live on even though he's not here so here we are we're here early we're gonna spend the weekend with uh, my nephew so you're gonna see some time with the family see some time with the nephew and then uh, Go probably see some friends and then we're gonna go do this big moment for us and give the first scholarships out so let's do it all right d where are we the zoo the zoo what are we gonna go see penguins, penguins? all right off to go see penguins <laughs> I can't believe I'm with Spider-Man right now. Whoa. Should we go get some food? Maybe some Chipotle? Yes. <laughs> Time for some food. Yes. Are on the next day uh, we end up going home taking naps uh, got a little fishing in I'll post a little video real quick uh, from when we were out fishing your oh god you guys got a fish dog did you really yes right. he was just right well, there man, he's swimming this way hurry get it out in the water huh? Holy <laughs> and so now just out getting ready to go for a walk and just enjoy the beautiful morning while D is still sleeping. It's gonna happen. Oh my goodness! Hey, here, let's give you some more vinegar. Because you can do it again. What color did you get? I got, you got kind of army green, didn't you? I got army green, Jacob. Okay, that looks great. Dump some Touchdown! Yes. Big 
All right, so we are driving to see my best friend uh, and his wife and son. So we're gonna go see Josh, Eliana, and Mr. Ezra. Uh, Mr. Ezra should be around like eight months old. Uh, just absolutely adorable. So spent the morning with the family. Uh, just gotta just document these memories, man. That's what it's been all about. And then as I wanted to show you guys what the most beautiful time of year, May here in Iowa, looks like. Everyone's always like, what's it like? Cornfields and cows. There's no cows in that video, but there was cows back there. But that's what we got, cows and corn. And I know what people will be saying. Jacob, you're driving. Oh my gosh, that's dangerous. You're right, that is dangerous when there's other cars. We're in Iowa, there are no other cars. You are the only one on the road. Uh, so about two and a half hour drive, I'm listening to uh, an audio, audible book. Um, so I do a lot of audibles and podcasts when I travel. That's how I get through so much stuff. Um, and it really helps me. I like to listen uh, to a lot of business stuff, as you guys can imagine, always trying to grow business, do that fun stuff, but then also a lot of personal stuff. So like this one I'm listening to is it's called How We Love. Um, and it's just talking about your past and how that brings into who you are and your love styles and all that stuff. And again, so always just trying to learn, educate myself, uh, grow. Um, I was talking to my mom about this, you know, the thing I've been obsessed with over the last five, six years, ever since graduating and traveling is self growth. And whether that's in my businesses, finances, career, relationships, personal growth. Um, and that's what I've learned is the more you do in the personal growth, everything else will uh, prosper. So just a little bit of time. I figured I'd just mention that, but I got to spend time with my nephew this morning. Love him. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go have this quality time on this Sunday uh, with friends and then we'll come back later tonight and then we'll spend the rest of the week with the crew and give our speech on Tuesday. So, Like they say in Iowa, you don't like the weather, wait 15 minutes. Now we're going through hail. What? Oh, Jacob, why do you live in Arizona where it's sunny and beautiful weather all the time and you don't worry about crappy weather conditions? This is why, my friend, this. So just drove through a bunch of hail and went through crazy weather, but then people are like, oh, what's it look like when it could be a possible tornado? Well, let me show you. Now I do just have to admit when I was younger, because there's literally nothing to do when you're in here. I had a truck and me and my buddies were piling in like when I was in high school. And they'd be like, oh, there's a thunderstorm and oh, this could be a tornado. So we would go look for tornadoes. It was all fun and games till we got caught right next to a tornado. <laughs> and uh, luckily we didn't get hit by it, but like my truck, I'll never forget, I had a Chevy 1500, we're all in it. I had a pull off because you couldn't see anything in front of us. The rain was crazy, and then it shook the whole car, or the whole truck. We were going back and forth, sideways, sideways, and I was like, this is how we die. Um, but some of the things you just gotta do when you're young. But yeah, it's uh, crazy weather, because again, the reason I'm showing you this is it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So you have this gray, and then you get like this greenish, like weird hazel, and that's when it's like, oh, what do we got? And then when the clouds are looking all weird like they are now with those waves that you just saw you're like oh okay this could be something fun so like they say in Iowa you don't like the weather just wait 15 minutes uh, but we are a prime weird thunderstorm weather uh, just went through sunshine beautiful weather 75 and sunny too it is hailing outside it's 60 degrees now um, and it was thunderstorm morning at one o'clock and possibly it could turn into something else because again, I will just show you the one cloud I'm looking at. That doesn't seem like the most inviting thing in the world. You have the clouds that are all crazy. Put some wipers on. And then you get clouds that are super low and they look like they could start moving. And then you have like the weird look in the sky that's like not really orange, it's not really gray. It's kind of like a weird green. What's that doing? Welcome to possible tornado weather. All right, here is the crew that we came to see. So Eliana, Mr. Josh, and then sweet little Ezra being perfect and sleepy. So we're just hanging out, get some Texas Roadhouse, because what else do you do when you're in the Midwest? Gotta get the rolls and butter. Um, 
just having great family moments, friend moments, and talking about life. And now, gonna enjoy it. Bon appetit. Let's get it. What do you see? You can tell it it's a deer because of the way it is. <laughs> Just hurting the deer. <laughs> Good morning from Spider Man. Oh, Jacob, are you okay? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I hurt you. Oh, we'll make it. Now, I, I gotta ask real quick. We're getting ready for school. I said, hey, I think your pants are on backwards. What'd you tell me? What'd you say? I said, I don't care. Yeah, you don't care. You wanna wear them backwards. Yeah, but watch this. All right, let's watch. Oh, flipped off. <laughs> hey, real quick, let's tell the people. How old are you? Five. Are you going to preschool today? Yes. Take <laughs> 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 What are you doing? Gee. I did that. You made it. I flipped it. You did. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we are sitting outside school. Just got done with having lunch with D, uh, my nephew. Um, so we did a little bit of work this morning after I dropped him off. Then I went over to the gym. Uh, actually up in, it's called Sioux City. It's about 30 minutes away. Um, drove up there. But funny enough, I ended up seeing my buddy from college. So I worked out for a whole, literally 12 minutes. I got a workout in and now it's like, we talked and then I looked and I was like, I got 12 minutes before I needed to drive back. And again, the old me would have been like, oh, I need to do this. Maybe I'll show up a little late. And I was like, you know, the now it's just the memories, it's the relationships, being able to talk to him fills my cup way more than the workout, you know, and then getting to see D and just be a kid, have lunch with him, make those memories. It's everything, man. Um, and the workout, you know, I'm gonna go, I'll am i go run later um, and get a run in to get it. But I did 12 minutes of squats that were pretty heavy rdls that were pretty heavy and then weighted uh reverse lunges so my legs are already feeling it and i literally did i got about six sets in in the the 12 minutes 13 minutes that i had so um but it, it worked it again just being able to get it done but now i'm gonna go home I'm gonna go do some work again so the nice thing is it's uh, about 11 30 here which is 9 30 my time and so i'm gonna get back do a little bit of work at home um, knock out a, several hours of work while I'm here and then we'll get to see my nephew. We're going to go fishing later. So time to go get on the phones, get an email, just follow up with people. Um, again, always working and keep it, uh, keep it on, keep it on. But I wanted to just touch base. It's, you know, the more I live this life, it's, it's what's important, man. It's the relationships. It's the memories. Um, it's the, it's the little moments. It's these little moments that having lunch with him for 15 minutes that are gonna mean way more than anything. So it's just continuing to do that. Having the talk with my buddy, we gotta talk deep for 30 minutes of just like life and where he's at. Just, it's just awesome. It's so cool how life works. And so, yeah, I just wanted to come on here. Just keep remembering the little moments, the relationships in life, that's what matters. Um, and then you build on top of everything else. How was school today, D? What are we about to go do? Fishing? Yeah, I'm asking you as your mouth's full. That's good, Uncle Time. All right, let's go do some fishing, okay? Yum, 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 yum. This is what us here in Midwesterners do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my family. This is where I come from. <laughs> oh, you're in Nebraska. You're saying that. Uh, look at yeah. it. Tim's a real man's man. Is that a is that my flip flops were cut off and my ball cap? Is, yeah. Is this a medium rare burger? Or? It is what it is. You get what you get. <laughs> this is my family, <laughs> and then we got the dogs in the background, and we got Daniel sleeping in the back. But uh, now we're just gonna have some good family time, grill out, eat some good food, and enjoy the night. There's hope. You're saying. <laughs> I just blinked when you, I saw you. <laughs> it, 
so are you are you using one of those things where they stretch you you know <laughs> i'm just lengthening myself <laughs> a, B, C, D, a b c d e f a b c d e f d h i n k and then moon will be q r x t u v w x y and z now i know my letter c what you hey thank you did you know this <laughs> you did it so many times before you get all camera shy it is. today is the big day just got done with a meeting at 6 a.m 4 a.m my time and we're working then did some running with d now after a little run to get my head right and then get get ready for the day and just sitting here with gratitude right now, thinking about all the conversations with Brandon and how we talked about what we're gonna go accomplish today. And I'm just so thankful for him, thankful for his passion, his mission. And it's great to be able to go make that happen today. All right, my friends, we are all suited up. I'm just getting a little prepped before uh, we do our actual speech. Um, coming back to auditorium, and then family, friends, uh, my best friend from high school's mom, my mom, and then the camera crew that we have here today uh, to to record the special moments here. And so, good to get all set up and come give this speech. So the speech went great. Um, just took time to just spend it with my family, talk with people after the speech, um, and then went got lunch with D. I just got to hang out with him and then I actually got to call one of my friends who actually helped me break into the industry. Unfortunately, just got laid off. And so luckily I have friends that are recruiters and we have a really good relationship with them, especially through our course. We get people placed and so was able to help her and now just hitting a quick little workout um, and then going back to work for the day. I've um, been answering emails while I'm here. So you're always, always working. You're never just done, but it's been a really special day. Um, the speech went really well, really happy with it. Uh, I got a lot of compliments with it, so that was super sweet for those people. And now we're just going to hit a workout, get home, do some work for a couple hours. And then we have the scholarship where we're handing it out tonight. So just getting a good quick little workout here at the PF. Uh, don't be a lunk, failing at it, trying to set off the alarm every time I'm here. But uh, we're going to knock out this workout and then get back to work. So came home, got some food, and we were going to go fishing. But uh, the snack in the, the drive really got him. He is zonked out. He doesn't even know we're talking. Uh, so we're going to carry him in. Get a shower. Going to go see my grandma. And then we will do the speech uh, for the rest of the evening. Good evening. I am Heather Nelson. And we are here to, for the first time, uh, honor my son Brandon, who has passed away in May from a glioblastoma brain tumor. And Jacob was one of his best friends and together we hope to continue this for many many years to come which i think we will so this is the first time and we are going to talk about for a minute the think bigger scholarship in honor of brandon's family so we just finished up gave the scholarship but this is the man behind the scenes what's up guys this is aj um and aj tell us a little bit about your business uh, and I have a company called Buttoned Up, so we help uh, people document, well, we help couples document their weddings, but we also help um, professionals like Jacob document their events, right? So today we specifically help document um, him giving away his scholarship, which is the Think Bigger Scholarship. Um, and I'm really excited to be able to show you guys this final video that we're going to put together for you. So, yeah. really excited about it. Yeah, and so I just, I want to be able to let you guys meet the guy who's going to create this and made this all happen for us. Um, and so, now... Enjoy the video and all the magic AJ made. Appreciate you guys. Yeah, I've been able to have some fun in life. I've been able to accomplish some things and uh, I just wanted to come back and share, but why today is so special. And I always try to keep myself together, uh, but a lot of you guys know there's a special lady here, Miss Nelson. Uh, Miss Nelson had a big loss this last year and we all had a big loss and it was a uh, my best friend, uh, Brandon. He taught me a lot. And uh, unfortunately, last year, he passed away of brain cancer. 
Um, and I got to be there with him. I got to be there with her. Uh, watch that. And I would always think about all the things we talked about and what we wouldn't accomplish when we were sitting in your guys' chairs. But we would always talk about, hey, what do we want to do with life? Where do we want to go? And, you know, I was able to stay and connected with him when I went to college. And then he flew out to Arizona one time. And him and Zeus, my, my roommate now, they're best friends, came out. And he's like, what do you think of Arizona? I was like, I love it. You got to come try it. And so he moved out here. And the reason I'm saying that is where you guys are at now, a lot of you guys will think this is it. And I just want you guys to know there's so much more. But what I will say after that is, after leaving this place, every time I get to come back to it, it's even more special. And how much I love it and how thankful I am for this place. I, I wanted to make sure that I always get this point across. that You can accomplish anything that you want to accomplish in your life. You just got to believe in yourself. And if you're lucky enough to have one of these teachers in here believe in you, you've already made it. You already got one more person than most people have. Um, so I just want, that's a point I've always wanted to just make, a lot of people will say it, and I'll, I'll believe in myself, but do you really believe in yourself? Do you believe in it when everything's going wrong? When things in family and life and things you don't understand aren't going right? Can you believe that you were put on this world to make an impact? And with the Think Bigger scholarship, we wanted you to not only think bigger in the dreams that you want to go after, but also what you want to accomplish in life financially, maybe think a little different. And so some of the guidelines of this scholarship was first off reading the book Rich Dad, Poor Dad uh, by Robert Kawasaki and Tim Ledger, or Sharon Ledger, excuse me, um, which just starts to make you think differently about money, uh, think about finances and get you to a different spot. Um, then we might know about finances. A lot of these seniors now, you know, Brandon passed away when he was 25. They're 17, 18, so they know him through me. But just to uh, get the word out there that you need to follow your dreams. And Jacob and Brandon said it perfectly. You know, you just I like what Jacob said in a speech. You know, it's not perfection, it's consistency. And you just need to go ahead and you've got to make a goal. And if it's too easy of a goal, you need to set a higher one. And just live your life. Live your life. When I kept thinking about this, this was something that I, it always rings in me when I think about Brandon. I think about his laugh. I think about his joy and how he always wanted to be able to make someone smile. And that's where it's, you guys want to find true happiness? You guys want to have true success? Go make someone else's day. Go make someone else happy. Go see, I'll tell you right now, if you want to change your life financially, you want to be the successful business guy or whatever, just go find someone's need and fill it. Don't think about yourself. I got told three things, and they, they talked about success, and again, success is what you want to make you, but it was all the guys that were my mentors in, in Scottsdale, and they, they told me, you want to make a real lasting impact on people, and you want to make a real lasting impact on a business or anything that you do, you do three things. You do what you say you're going to do, you're going to work hard, and you're going to treat others better than they treat you. And then with that, they had to write an essay explaining what they learned and how they're going to be able to use that in the future um, and, and going after their goals. And then number two was an a essay about what they want to accomplish in their life, what they want to go after, um, and just telling us where they want to be. And so with that, we're going to award uh, two seniors, one male and one female uh, from West Monona. 
with $2,500, but where $500 is going to go into a retirement account. Um, and then the rest of the, the remaining $2,000 can either be used on retirement, investment, uh, college, trade school, continuing education, entrepreneurship, starting a business, or taking that trip you always wanted. I just want you guys to know that you guys are enough. You guys have such a bright future. You guys can accomplish whatever you want. And just know you guys are loved. So I just want to say thank you uh, for allowing me to come back, be able to talk with you guys, um, be able to just share a couple of the, the little points that have been on my heart the last couple of days and a couple of weeks. And just being able to let me fill a goal and let Brandon and us accomplish a goal of being able to come back, speak to our high school, but also give a scholarship in uh, his memory that his legacy lives on and thanks guys. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.